Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always with Dean Sharpevi. In this video, we are going to see one potential problem with the data class in Kotlin. Let's get started. So obviously you know how to use the data class in Kotlin. Like this is the amazing feature about like Kotlin thing, right? Where you can create a person class. Let's pretend we do have like, for example, let's just for example, a name, which is string and also an age, which is an age. The beauty of this data class, it generates in the bytecode, the decompiled code, it will generate the equal method, the hash code, the two string method, and so on. So if you take like, like this is just a demonstration, let's create a new unit person like that. And let's call it person. Yeah, sorry. So it will be six and 234. I don't know, maybe we can reach that. It's impossible. Yeah, this use class, well, you can, if, if you print something like that, it will just print it with a two string, the default two string, and it will run as follows. Now there is some potential problem with that, like the main two problems or one problem. Well, before that, as I told you, it allows you to, to generate those methods by default, so you can compare them and do everything. But this is not just it, right? Uh, we, like we can do that, we can generate that by hand if you want. You can do that, insert, and like and do this generation code generation by default with the IntelliJ. But the problem is that whenever you add something, for example, let's say let's say you forgot uh, and you add another variable or another property, you have to get back here and regenerate it again. But with the data class, you don't have to. This is the beauty of this data class thing. But there is some problem with it. The problem is encapsulation and maintaining invariant. What I mean by that? Well, the reason for these two is something called the copy method. And this is the problem. With the copy method, you can like access directly those properties shown here and modify them. So there is no encapsulation. Let's say you want to abstract the hidden implementation for this person thing. You can do that because everything is exposed here. And you can create another person from this person with, for example, an age of 135. And guess what? It will print normally. It will work normally. As you can see, it is working here. Well, the first problem is encapsulation. So you are exposing the internal state via this copy method and this problem. The other one is maintaining invariance. What do I mean by that? Let's say, let me just have run an example. Let's say I do have a private constructor and we will create the person based on some conditions like we don't want the name to be empty, for example, and the age to be, for example, negative. So let's say you want to do this check in order to create this data class or not. So let me just expose like here method let me call it from something like that to return person and where return person to be an age no sorry name and an age we will get those from the parameter like that and get like that well, please, something like that. It will work fine. But before that, I'm requiring, I do require that the name is not empty. If we have something like that, for example, we can just mention, please give real names. This one you can also require the second one, which is age is bigger than, for example, zero, something like that. And we can have the method here also, like the exception string is the following, please give a valid age. Okay, now you can't create directly from here, you do something like following from, like that. And let's pretend to give zero here. If we run this right now, obviously you will see an error, exception, please give a valid name. Okay, this illegal argument exception. But guess what? We can create this like one, but with a copy. And now let's say we pass minus five here, for example. As you can see, we do require this one, this one. I'm sorry, here we require it's not empty. So here, if we pass this one minus five here, guess what? The minus five will get passed normally because it bypassed this private constructor here. And this is a problem. It won't maintain its invariance, as you can see here minus five like this is for a problem well you can do the same thing for the age or the name sorry you can give an empty thing and it will pass normally this is the problem as you can see this is the problem with the data class if you hover here you see that the id is warning you private primary constructor is exposed via the generated method copy so this is the problem with the data class this is not something you should trade off right if you have something that's maintaining variance don't think of the data class, just implement it normally with this class thing and implement if you want to copy thing, 
try to have a special copy thing in which you can maintain this invariance, right? That's pretty it. This is the problem. The problem was about encapsulation and maintaining invariance. This is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.